expect more from Evaldi today? No. Um, eight really good innings. Uh, you know, the gave up the run early and then um, he settled in really well. And I thought him and Austin did a tremendous job together. I thought Austin had a really good game too with Evo. Um, but I don't think you can ask for any more. Romine, I believe, caught that game in Texas as well when Evaldi pitched very well. Why do you think they work so well together, those two? Well, I think, you know, Austin has a really good idea what he's doing back there. Um, and I just think Evo's gotten it going, too. Uh, I mean, his stuff is really good, and I think it's become more consistent. Um, early on, he struggled a little bit with the consistency. His last start, he struggled with the split. But I thought um, his stuff was really good again today. Is it remarkable? You look in the seventh inning and the eighth inning, you look up. He still has control also throwing 98 miles an yeah. hour. He works really, really hard. Um, he, as a pitcher, he works as, as hard as any pitcher that you know I've seen, um, and I think that's why he's able to maintain his, you know, his velocity. How encouraging is it if you look at a big picture, one through nine, everybody got on base. It mm -hmm. seemed like it was a team effort offensively to see that happen. Yeah, usually when you do that, you score runs, uh, and you and you score a lot of runs. And um, Didi had a huge two-out hit. Carlos had a big two out hit um, that ended up giving us five runs. Um, and those were big at-bats. Dan. Did you have uh, Miller tonight? No, I wouldn't have used him. Okay. And so you, did you check with him before the game? Yeah, he wanted to be used. <laughs> <laughs> I told him I'd get back to him later. <laughs> to, your, to your right, Joe, Kyle. Uh, you put Austin in there against uh, Price, lefty and righty. I'm sure you don't expect him to go three for four with two uh, RBI doubles. What are your thoughts on his performance? Well, I thought he, he had a great performance. I thought his first double, he did a good job. It looked like it was a change up away, and he stayed on it. Um, I thought he had good at-bats all day long. Even the one where he flew out to right, I thought he stayed on. I think it was a backdoor cutter. Um, but again, I thought he had a tremendous day, a, a big day for us. Joel. You put him on the roster. Did you think of him as a placeholder, or did you imagine that he could actually help your team this year? No, we felt that he made some big strides last year. Um, you know, he's been through a lot too. He's been through disappointment, and he's continued to, to persevere and fight and fight and fight. Um, you know, at times he'd come to spring training with a chance to make the team, and, and he wouldn't perform the way that he was capable of. Um, but I thought he made some big strides offensively last year. We've always felt that he could catch and throw and, and, and block balls. Uh, offensively, I just think he became more consistent. Uh, you know, I think it just kind of evolved for him. And he got a chance to play a lot. Um, and I thought he had a pretty good year last year. Dan. Joe, this is the first back-to-back -back wins, I think, in about two weeks. Can you – does that allow you guys just to take a breath maybe after the – after what you guys have been Yeah, through. I mean, you want to continue to, to, to play well. Um, you know, we won a really tough game last night. Um, we had big hits today. You get a big performance from Evo, and you want to build on it. Um, you know, we haven't had a lot of offensive explosions, and to get eight runs today was really nice, and um, everyone contributed, which was even better. And how big was it to get, I know there weren't mammoth hits, but Headley getting a couple after what he's – yeah, struggling. I think it can turn him around, too, and get him going. Um, and I think Hicks is swinging the bat better, and um, you get some more people contributing, and all of a sudden you can put up crooked numbers. Anyone else? Anthony? Uh, Joe, for Evaldi to become the kind of starter that you uh, rely on for a day like today when you don't have Patances and Miller and you know to go deep into the game, what does he have to do to be that guy consistently? Uh, um, I think it comes down to mixing all his pitches and being effective with his fastball, you know, locating his fastball where he wants. Um, those are the two keys for him. Dan? Yeah. Is that a conversation that either you or Larry would have with Evaldi that – just to make sure that he knows there's no Miller, there's no Batances, or do you just think that he understands that going I in? I think he's been around long enough to understand it. <laughs> but, I, you know, I don't ever think pitchers say, well, just, you know, let me go six innings and I'll turn it over to the bullpen. I mean, Evo's, Evo probably wanted to go nine. 